entry level position. I arrive early and wait 18 minutes after our scheduled time together to speak with the human relations manager. She inquires as to my interest in the entry level position. I respond honestly. At this point, I can't afford to be discriminating as I prefer to be. I'm twice the age of her average employee and I can imagine the question, why are you here? My best answer would be, I had a little too much fun early in life. I keep thinking back to my first summer in Las Vegas, spending my mornings cracking eggs over the grill, spending my afternoons flipping burgers, and behind me, at the fryer, a man twice my age, a certified public accountant with a bachelor's degree in psychology and making minimum wage, just like me, the college dropout. And when the night shift came in, my relief on the grill was three years older and just graduated with a master's degree in English, making half a dollar more per hour because he had been there the last six years. All this during the legendary Clinton economy, a time idolized by the ignorant and sheltered. Now after another Bush economy, I'm applying myself everywhere, seeking employment back at the bottom of the ladder. While waiting for the interview portion of my feigning conformity, an LED display above the concession stand scrolls messages. Pop culture rankings, sales numbers and sports scores, and best of all, in honor, perhaps unintentional, of this National Poetry Month, a quote from a poet. There it is. In blinking red lights scrolling overhead, look up and see the words of a poet live on. I smile and realize I am in the right place at the right time. In living my life random, haphazard, and as madly as I have, I have done a good job. I wrote this poem the same